Got to be on it all day long. No tires down on pit road to bail you out if your race car isn't handling right. You got to muscle your way through it. Chevrolet pickup truck in ahead for cover. Field rolls through turns three and four. The green flag is out, and we're racing at Ritt Riverhead. Justin Bonsignor to the inside. Ronnie Silk to the outside. Silk 0 for 23 here in modified tour competition, trying to nail down his first win here this afternoon. Puts Bonsignor in car number 51. We'll come to the early race lead. Bonsignor out in front. The battle now for third. Dylan Slepian working now the inside of Austin Beers. Caution flag is out. Doug Kobe, two laps down, released off the back straight away. Two cars into it. It is 26 of Gary McDonald and the Turbush number 81 for Chris Turbush off turn two. Green flag is out and quick firing on the bottom. Justin Bonsignor able to get away from Ronnie Silk. Here comes Dylan Slepian trying to sneak the nose in underneath. A much better start that time by. For Justin Bonson, York Silk settles into second. The battle is for third. To the inside, Dylan Slepian. To the outside is Austin Beard. He'll just ride here for a bit as Ronnie Silk puts more pressure on Justin Bonson, as he tries to cross him up. He's into the back bumper and underneath him as they head to turn number three. His best position now to the inside of turn three. Silk working the bottom lane of the racetrack as Bonson, tries to pinch off the corner, getting into turn one and two, but Silk. Able to keep the bumper alongside. Now sticks the nose out ahead and takes over the race lead here. Now 28 laps in. Justin Bonsignor tries to cross him over. Looks to the inside, but still able to hold that spot. And he heads down the back straight. Away. The race leader's in heavy lap traffic. We've got one car around in turn two. Roger Turbush is spun. And the caution flag comes out on lap number 34. So Turbush goes around. Green flag is out. Lap number 40, green flag out once again. Trouble on the front straightaway. Dave Zappienza bounces off the front stretch wall, and the caution flag is back out. He guides it into turns one and two where he comes to stop up against the outside concrete. But, uh, boy, he came down on the start along the straightaway. Zappienza got into the outside wall. He bounced along the front straightaway concrete, tried to slow down before he hit the wall in turn one, and then gently grazed it between turns one and two. 46 laps down here in the Buzz Chew Chevrolet Cadillac 200. Ronnie Silk and Justin Bonsignor lead him out of the East-West Management Go Zone into turn number one. Contact Salamito into the back of the 51, who in turn hit the back of the 16. But it opened the door for Timmy Salamito. Salamito fighting down there on the inside lane, but Justin Bonsignor will close that door in turns one and two. Salamito now looks to his right elbow. He's got the 79 of John McKennedy working the top lane once again. And it's early for him to make a march like this, but oh, Ed Brunhunsel the third in the fence in turn number four. Yeah, off turn four. Caution flag is out here for the fourth time today. The Brunhunsel hard to the right side. You see the window net is down, but the right front damaged badly as he caught the outside concrete there in the restart zone for Eddie Brunholzel. And green flag about set to come out, and we're back underway with Ronnie Silk in command. Silk leads him out of turn number two and down the back straightaway. Bonsignor settles in for the second spot, Slepian back on the outside of McKennedy for third. Slepian trying to pick up for some lost ground. It slid back outside the top five, now digging up in the high lane of the racetrack. Going wheel to wheel with John McKennedy into turn three. Now a little bit of bumper tag, and that will result in Jack Hanley going around in turn three, and the caution flag comes back out. That all started with Kyle Soper got into the back of John McKennedy, and then everybody bumper tagged an accordion back. Hanley going around in turn three, and the caution flag comes back out. That all started with Kyle Soper got into the back of John McKennedy, and then everybody bumper tagged an accordion back door now. Settles in the line behind, and now McKennedy. The rolls are reversed. The 79 of John McKennedy to the outside of Dylan Slepian. We'll see if he can do what Slepian did on the last restart. It's that 100 lap mark, and it is time to start going. If you're back in that sixth, seventh position, you know you want to fight for the race lead. You got to work your way inside the top three. Caution is out. Caution flag down. Patrick Emerling, car number 07. Some contact from the 22. 
of Kyle Bonsignor. He and Tyler Ripkema live in that part of Western New York, and a lot of the racetracks are big. You know, they're not tiny little bull rings, quarter mile tracks like we have here at Riverhead. And when you're used to running big racetracks, you get into a small bull ring like this, it takes some effort to get used to it. Green flag out once again. Here comes Sleppy into the inside of Bonsignor. Trying to make the move work. That'll allow John McKennedy to sail it deep to the outside in turns three and four. Can't do it. Sleppy in sideways in the bottom. Here comes Kyle Soper now to work to the bottom of McKennedy. Contact ahead of them. Jack Hanley into the left rear tire. And they're spinning in front of the race leader. Silk finally able to go to the outside. And he's able to narrowly avoid disaster. The two in front of him. Hanley got together with Jake Johnson and they nearly collided in front of the race leader. But it allows the 51 of Bonsignor and the 10 of Slepian to climb right to the back bumper. Caution flag down for car number 18, Kenny Hagee. Ken Hagee stopped off turn number two, 149 laps to go in the Buzz Shoe Chevrolet Cadillac 200 for the NASCAR Wheel and Modified Tour. And how about that action? All right, here we go. Chevrolet Pace Truck going to go ahead and head in. Green flag is out. Slepian steps the nose to the inside lane, but it's Justin Bonsignor to the top lane of the racetrack, putting a bid for the race lead against Ronnie Silk as we go back under the green flag and into turn three. And Silk knows here if he can't take this lead back, which he does, it's going to be hard to get by Bonsignor. Here's Slepian now digging to the inside lane with John McKennedy working up top. McKennedy has loved the top side all day long. Now is the time to use it if you're going to find any extra speed in the outside lane. Back a bit. Contact between Austin Beers and Dylan Slepian. Beers goes sideways. Slepian holds on to the spot, and Anthony Osella now challenges to the outside. That all started with the 92 bouncing the 64. Then the 64 got angry and sent it in a ton. I was able to get by Slepian. And here comes Osella with him. We'll see if Slepian returns the favor. Beers is going to try to get away from him. Lap traffic, there's a contact. Slepian sent it deep down into turn four. Didn't hit him hard enough, though, as now Nocella hard on the binders. He goes up the racetrack. He'll lose three spots in turn one. Side-by-side, lap cars directly in front of Ronnie Silk. Gets... Oh, trouble. Nocella goes around off turn four. Caution is out. No contact into the outside wall for Nocella. Barely missed it. Caution is out, 186 laps in of 200. Pace truck is in, we'll turn him loose. Green flag is out, Silk and Bonsignor headed for one. Good restart for Bonsignor, Silk slides for one and two. As they head down the back straightaway, Justin Bonsignor to the race lead. Bonsignor ever so slightly puts the 51 out in front to the outside lane and Justin Bonsignor with seven laps to go, takes over the top spot. Beers shuffled out of the outside lane trying to challenge for Ronnie Silk. Monsignor has better drive off at this point, but here comes Silk to the inside. They get together off turn two. Silk muscling his way to the inside lane. Contact again in turn four. The two beating and banging on each other, but Monsignor holds on. Here comes Silk again with a bottom shot out of turn number two and down the back straightaway. Monsignor slid it sideways, straight even across. The two together again, both together as they come across the line, but the caution flag is out. Five, six cars into the outside wall in turn three. Three laps to go when the caution flag came out. Unbelievable racing between two champions, Ron Silk and Justin Bonsignor, beating and banging on each other on both ends of the racetrack. Strap in, Bonsignor on the bottom. Ronnie Silk to the outside of the 16 has dominated the race so far today. Green flag is out, Silk spins the tires and Justin Bonsignor gets by to the inside. Bonsignor away and free with the lead. Here comes McKennedy to the bottom. John McKennedy, car number 79 to the inside, but to the outside of McKennedy, here comes Austin Beers as they come to the white flag. White flag is out this time for Justin Bonsignor. Silk is there. He gets into the back bumper off turn two. Down the back straightaway. Bonsignor into turn number three. Checkered flag is waving. They spin behind, and Justin Bonsignor is now a 10-time winner at Riverhead Raceway.